this is a simplified life cycle of the woolly elm aphid. The woolly elm aphid is a aphid pest that has two hosts. Uh, the first host is on elm, and so in the early part of the year uh, and at the end of the year, the aphid either is on the elm or travels back to the elm. But um, the focus of this pest um, in this particular video is the effect it has on the Saskatoonberry, which is the other host. And it can cause quite a bit of issues for some of the younger um, Saskatoonberry plants. So at first, the aphid itself, which is a soft-bodied, pear-shaped insect, the adult aphids, uh, all female, in about mid-June to mid-July, are wingless and they're sitting on the elms and feeding and they and you'll have uh, woolly elm if it's on the el elm all year but um, about mid-July or in the early part of July they will develop a winged form uh, also still female and then at that point the uh, the winged females will now move over fly over to the Saskatoon berries and this happens about the time in uh, the year when you see the purple lilacs are blooming. So that's usually a clue that something is going on and the, these um, winged aphids are starting to move. So they arrive over on the Saskatoons. They're not affecting the above ground plant specifically. They actually land on the on the plant and then travel down to the roots and that's where they'll continue the life cycle and spend the vast majority of their time and cause most of the issues that affect the health of the plant. So when they arrive on the on the Saskatoon, they are, go back to a non-winged form, wingless form, and they'll stay there from July until October. And so at this point, th we're going to focus in on the Saskatoon and on the roots to see what uh, they do there. But again, so we're on the Saskatoon. They've been they're down on the roots, and when you look, a normal root should be you know, white and creamy, and you know fairly normal sized and what will happen is the feeding by the aphids on the roof root cause the root to get all swollen and spongy kind of orange and so a normal root will look kind of pretty typical and but the swollen roots look big and and quite deformed and they definitely aren't functioning properly and so what this will result in is you'll see above ground symptoms such as flagging which is sort of off season uh, color change you'll see weakened plants and this is a big problem for the course for the youngest plants um, not as an older plant has established four or five years old it can handle things a little bit better but the aphids feed upon that uh, root and there'll be some uh, woolly looking stuff as well as the all the aphids that are feeding there all female um, at this point in in September they'll develop a winged aphid form which will now fly back to go back to the elm host and there it'll overwinter. On the elm itself you will see some curling leaves and cupping and some lots of rain of honeydew but um, again as I said this is more of a focus of the Saskatoonberry pest that we're worried about.